Hey, Ivan from the EV Stock Channel here. US Q4 sales for 2022 are in. And how did the likes of Tesla, Ford, GM, Toyota, Rivian and Honda do? Well, let's find out. But before we begin, thank you to all the Patreons that support the show. And as always, none of this content is financial advice. And while I try my best, I cannot always guarantee the accuracy of the data used in this video. Okay, so let's get started by looking at the best selling EV models in the United States, with the Tesla Model Y and Model 3 absolutely dominating the market yet again. Then there's the Mustang Mach-E and Chevy Bolt in 3rd and 4th place. And then there's the Tesla Model X and S not too far behind. And then they're followed by the Hyundai Ioniq 5, the Kia EV6 and the Volkswagen ID4 in 9th place. So another year, but the same results as the last 5. Total domination by Tesla. Also keep in mind, Tesla does not provide US sales numbers, so I'm using Troy Tesla-like's estimates along with my own to try and get the Tesla figures. Now let's move on to see how Q4 and 2022 played out for key players in the United States, starting with Rivian, which delivered 8,000 vehicles in Q4 and just over 20,000 in 2022. But how does that compare to expectations? Uh, but the thing is, is the uh, the total 2022 deliveries actually came shy of the 25,000 estimate that the company provided. But we also have to consider that that guidance was actually cut from 50,000 units uh, around the mid part of last year to 25,000. Next up, Tesla that had their best quarter for US sales and also their best year, delivering around half a million vehicles. And keep in mind, Giga Texas is only ramping production. Next up is Ford that had a bounce back Q4, their best quarter since Q2 of 2021. But when we look at yearly sales, we can see that Ford has now had three consecutive yearly declines. For 2022 sales, however, we're down 2.2%. Not a surprise, a number of automakers reported a slight decline in auto sales last year, given a number of the factors that were moving against the industry. EV sales up 126% in 2022. Yes, it's coming off a low number, but Ford has momentum. It believes that now that it's number two in EV sales and you start to see the ramp up in production of the Lightning, that those EV numbers will grow even further. In terms of traditional F-Series sales, they were up 20% in the month of December, but down 9.9% for all of 2022. And remember, the F-Series, that still is the vehicle that pays the freight at Ford in terms of profit per vehicle. So down 9.9% on the year. So they are eating into Tesla's market share. Ford, I would not say at this point, is a true competitor one-to-one -one with Tesla. Yes, the Lightning is gaining momentum. But they don't have really, uh, yes, they've got the, the Mustang, but they don't have something to compete with the Model 3 and the Model Y. And that's really where Tesla is, is eating everybody's lunch in terms of EV demand right now. Moving on to General Motors, which like Ford, had their best quarter since Q2 of 2021. They also managed to beat out their 2021 sales number and also take top spot away from Toyota for the best selling manufacturer in the US market. GM, good news there. They're number one overall in America, number one in total truck sales, a number of things like that. Up 2.5% last year sales wise, up 41% in Q4. So sort of reflecting that they really had an improvement compared to last year with all the chip shortages and, and things like that. Uh, so Toyota, their, their arrival, you see they're 2.1, so barely missing out, but down 9.6%. They were really hit this year with those part shortages Chip shortage, they've cut their outlook a couple times last year, so not a good year for them, but still 2.1 million, nothing to sneeze at there. And then EVs, of course, they upped their Bolt production to 70,000 per year. They have three new EVs come out next year, and their factory zero all EV plant opens mid next year too. So a lot going on for GM as well. As mentioned, Toyota sales were down in 2022, while their Q4 numbers were significantly up from the same time last year, but the big story with Toyota is that they are still looking towards 2026 when it comes to EVs. 
Toyota will unveil changes to its electric vehicle plans that they have laid out through early 2026. The company is expected to have a major meeting with suppliers in February. The company is attempting to balance EV price with performance to remain competitive. Changes in the three-year plan could come in electric drive systems, including motors and electronic changes from the grid to batteries, as well as heating and cooling systems. Finally, there's Honda that reported another quarter with around 255,000 sales. And that number has been really trending down. And when we look at their yearly sales, 22 has been absolutely brutal, with sales down 25% from the previous year. But Honda does have some news on the EV front. I think one of the most interesting announcements, though, came last night from Sony Honda Mobility. That's the new company that is Sony and Honda's team up to make an electric car. Sony's kind of leading the way here with Honda doing the manufacturing. And let me just give you a rundown of what this car has to offer. They're going with kind of a minimalist design, they say, uh, to really focus on the driver. But as you walk up to the car, the front has kind of a media bar that can tell you things like the car's charging status, as well as the weather, because sure, why not? You are walking outside to a car, you know what the weather's like really, but maybe also reading it helps. Uh, on the inside, there's a panoramic infotainment center that runs the entire width of the windshield. So it's gonna be from the driver's side to the passenger side, all one infotainment system. It has 45 different cameras and sensors. This is really supposed to be uh, a level three autonomous car. Full autonomous is considered level five. That's still years and years away. It doesn't matter what anyone else is saying. It's still very far off in the distant future. When does this go on sale? Pre-orders start in 2025, the early half of 2025. It actually goes on sale in the end of 2025, and then it'll start hitting the road in 2026. So we still have some time ahead before the actual Fila, is what they're calling it, the Afila, uh, feel, because feeling things is what Sony wants you to do with the car. Uh, but yes, it'll take about three years now for it to officially be on the road. So in summary, in 2022, Tesla continued to grow at a blistering pace with an estimated growth rate of around 40% in the United States. While Ford and GM barely moved, Toyota was down 10% and Honda a whopping 24.8%. As we go into 2023, Tesla, in my opinion, will be in the best position with the Cybertruck expected to start selling in the second half of the year while Giga Texas continues to ramp. Not to mention, Tesla enters the year with the highest profit margins and a rock solid balance sheet with next to no debt. Meanwhile, Ford and GM are both pivoting towards electric vehicles and are making investments to help ramp their EV production, although both are still in their early days and most of their current sales still come from combustion vehicles. And then there's Toyota and Honda, which are looking towards 2026 when it comes to EV production, and that's assuming all goes to plans and that there are no delays. So how will things play out in 2023? Supply chain challenges, recession fears, and a multitude of new electric vehicles scheduled to come out, which will make for an interesting year to come. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Until next time, have a great day.